So it's October 13th, and during this Oort debris cloud, uh, let's see who benefited. Um, we have William Shatner from Star Trek went on some media stunt into orbit for this new Jeff Bezos, William Shatner, and something called a Blue Origin, B-L-U-E-O-R-I-G-I-N. Um, I'm still stuck here. There's still holes in space and time, and the most disgusting humans are in charge of all sorts of stuff. So, um, they're now opening some space tourism. Okay, it was bad enough when you shitbags wanted to get into a plane and fly between continents. Great. One monkey or one man went up to space, confirmed it was a sphere, which is what was needed. It was not supposed to be a mental disease where now everybody has to do it. But here we are. Because that's how disgusting humans are. It's like, oh, now let's make it into business. Isn't there a gaming, like, adult league anywhere? I really thought throughout my human existence, I heard somewhere on the news that there was a gaming commission. Are those the guys who are just getting paid off to play games? I'm just curious, because that's what it feels like, although that's not what its original intent was supposed to be. So there's some kind of casino, some kind of lottery, some kind of gaming, and then there's a whole lot of money and a whole lot of commission. And currently, it's being run like shit. Today on Talk of the Table with Gail King, they mentioned um, that they had a guest on for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, apparently Hispanic Month, and Breast Cancer Awareness Month are one in the same for this disgusting appearance. Um, so, for this tie-in. So now, since there's a Latin America, a South America, Central America, and North America, apparently, <laughs> according to the Rapagal. Um, also, the Blue Origin assholes were using the words orbit or orbital. I guess that's what they prefer rather than spherical which is one in the same. So if the outer eggshell is what they call orbital, and they can see that it never puckers, great. What puckers, just like the outside of a hard eggshell, the inside lining can still move, shift, and cause problems for the yolk on the inside of the egg. Just because you get up there, and it's also like a scent of a smell, there's some times where you walk through an aerosol dispersed chemical weapon and the potency and solubility um, metric is so dense, you can smell it right away. Five minutes later, walking down the same street on your way back home, it's dissipated and it's not at the same metric any longer. The scent is no longer there, but the toxicity still remains. Parts per whatever in the metric system, or of whatever metric you use. So now, um, let's think about this. So, there's still holes in time and space. Um, I've got people who are now not preferating the orbital structure like a visit to the moon, let's say, which is another... I mean, why would you make your orbit turn into a wiffle ball, all area dumb fucking useless? And this is at romancing a chalkboard level. Because, like, I'm really tired of the shitbags I have to deal with that don't exist in my local area, while, like, I could have been enjoying life, but there's so many people making bad decisions. And it's like... Between the UK and the US, there's some kind of double talk. So it's almost like a magnetic strip tape where it's like, okay, so if you're going to have this mediator thing go out in broad public in New York, you put a front story, we'll put the back story, and then we'll campaign together and we'll get there twice as fast. No. 
because you partnered with the wrong fucking people back in the U.S., like, opening its existence in 1776. All area dumb fucking useless. That keep making worse decisions, because now you're all wrapped up in some part of the debris field, and you're like, whoa, oh, right. Great. I'm not in, um, I got DMX playing in the background between North America, Central America, South America, and a Latin America. Rough Riders Anthem. Plays in the background. It's the debris field. Me, I'm just floating on cloud nine, like observing the debris field, but I'm not partaking in the debris field. Um, and I, I wouldn't have had any part of it had the beginning of my existence started off differently with some access to what I needed for this part. Because when you wake, when you're at a park with other adults, and all of a sudden, boom, you wake up and your pinky is like totally slashed and missing, that's due to bad weather pattern and bad weather mechanics. And then none of the adults knew what happened. I was just sitting there, and then all of a sudden, my hand. They're like, did she fall? And it, no. Her skin just ripped right off of her skin, uh, off of her, her finger. Same thing like when I'm sleeping, and then all of a sudden, I wake up, and I have my skin on my abdomen just split down to the dermal layer, and all the epidermis is just in, like, veins and tributaries, like a, like a squished grape that just opens. And you all, we have evidence of this. It was known. And you all dare to come on Main Street Media with these stunts and this absurd opulescence, like disgusting display on these new campaigns for the shitbag humans that don't deserve anything. Just curious. There's loyalty in that mix somewhere, which is important, but it's not at a level that I can ascertain or reach, so it hasn't really been successful. I'm still being punished for your crimes at loyalty. Because you think you're loyal to something, nobody has any fucking clue what. But now, down here, and didn't fucking get anywhere in the world, because wouldn't accept bribes, payoffs, or any of your commission and candy land, like casino, dumb fucking plan. Oh, by the way, my other video got cut off. On Talk of the Table, I had mentioned Gail King. There was a representative that looked m like one of her family members. Very nicely dressed, but like fashion from the 70s with uh, crazy shoes being like a platform heel. Walked in front of my house yesterday on her cell phone. Like brand new bag, hair done. I mean, like she was dressed to the hilt. So um, she was walking past and she was on her cell phone mentioning something about Airbnb. A-I-R, and then the letter B-N-B. -B. I have no idea what this means. I've heard Lewis reference it a few times in passing, but again, makes absolutely no sense. It's something to do with renting rooms or renting houses for short-term stays. Again, it sounds like more Candyland, like just distract them and we'll run the other way and get away with more crimes. Breast cancer is four times, it's, it's higher today for stage four than it is, than it was 20, 30 years ago. And you've had all this research and time. Here's the thing. The more they research blood banks and blood partnerships that they would have never have had access to, the more they learn your special genome and special recipe and then the more dangerous life here becomes because they start interfering with your children, you, your parents, 
in disgusting ways that they're quietly dishonest about, but you gave them money, time, and research facilities that you built, stupid humans, in order for them to hide, to study and be really curious about a skin type and a bloodline that was not their own. You want to take your own blood and study it? That's one thing. But to take samples of the population of genetics that aren't even your own blood relation, like that should be illegal. Why would I ask anyone outside of my safety protection net to study my bio ge genome? That's like a breach of personal security on a whole nother level. But yet they're doing it actively in this United States of America, in North America, in the state of New York. I can confirm state of New York, Long Island, and Queens since I've been here. In fact, they actually are really aggressively pursuing like the parents by brainwashing them by television propaganda and by like these new societal norms that I mean like we're not even part of a society club but yet it's like the societal clubs are doing all the wrong things and benefiting somehow and then pushing up on us like we have to partake otherwise making us seem like we're the disease um you're the shitbags that took the bioengineered lotto ticket not us what the fuck do I gotta conform to your stupidity for? Just because you took it, and now you're in danger more so than before. I mean, like, I don't really get this line of logic, logistics, or, like, intelligence that the humans are operating off of. It really doesn't work for me. I And I really can't figure out a way to negotiate around them or through them. And I haven't been able to succeed at all, but doing the right thing by keeping my kids away from other humans as best as possible and keeping myself as isolated as possible from their crazy shitbag ideas, trying to find like honest employment, like the kind that exists in a village, not like a worldwide corporate conglomerate. Would have been nice, but, again, not offered. The circus apparently took off with Barnum and Bailey. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Caterusa. They did make a mention on Drew Barrymore's show today, by the way. I caught wind of it. That after Barnum and Bailey came, cats. I was like, really? I never saw it. Lynn and Lou went. I had, wasn't invited. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. Um, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. 